Square Enix. Koei Tecmo Games. Hello everyone, this is GameTaf. Today, I'm going to be trying my hand at the Gauntlet mode, which is the uh, offline mode. So in Gauntlet, you pick a character. For this, I'm going to be picking Gobez. You select a difficulty. I'll start with Brawn. And you fight six battles. Um, unlike sparring mode, in gauntlet mode you get rewarded points, player points, character points to level up your player, your character, and you get your rank up. So my summon will be Alexander. You also get a level up to your title. As you can see, I am no longer the default title. I am a starry eyed initiate. They so I'll be up against Zidane, Santoto, and. Good to see you. And. <laughs> well. I'll just call her. The nameless Gion, but I believe she's from the MMO. Now the thing about Gobez is he's he's long range has powerful magical attacks, um, but a lot of them take a while, uh, quite a few of them take a while to actually make its way to the opponent, kind of like the Emperor, um, but uh, some of them like his fire attack and this attack which is his uh, shadow attack, you see that, uh, this, that big ball of darkness, those do well. This black playing is a C attack also takes a while to charge. But uh like D this attack is pretty quick, the fire attack is pretty quick. On the ground, the ice attack is pretty quick. And this attack, when it actually is summoned, is pretty quick. That attack is medium medium speed, at least that this wind attack. So I'm a black thing from afar. I got the lead on. As you can see, like, Gobez can really rack up a lot of damage. And from a good distance, it's safe Black Fang is powerful. It's the attack from the distance. That's the key on. Well, <laughs> he also has a very neat uh, EX move to freeze, which is this. See if he's frozen in place. Good for throwing tails. 
well, got broken by the Odin. Or reduced to zero, rather. I believe that's his Zang Zangtooth season. His, uh... Stay close to your companions, Kiko! Now it's time for our summon. Let's get to summoning. Stay close. Show no compassion in your judgment. Close to your companions, Koopa. Alright, finally a victory. Yeah, so like Gobez and a lot of the marksman characters, like the mages, they uh the battles could drag on a bit. It's more of a tactical sort of thing. So I'm gonna stick with the bronze level summon, for the sake of this recording. Then for subsequent recordings I'll increase the level. I'll do different characters too. Too bad you crossed our path. <laughs> How smug, Squall, how smug. I think I'm gonna make Squall one of my like mains, like my third area. <clears throat> I used to use him a lot in the uh, PSP one. Back in high school. Black Fang! Love that move. Takes a while to charge, it's really good. It's really strong, hard to dodge. Whoa. So that's a summon. Whoa! That did real damage though. Bye bye. Finish that ball, Jimmy! Stay out of the streets and sleep with them in their faces! Black Fang! Oh, I got broke. We won.
Consider this my atonement. I will use Odin this time. So we are up against Furion, Dark Knight Cecil, and a opposing Shantoto. We will not shirk from your challenge. Furion's really cool. He reminds me of like Link on Legend of Zelda with the whole multi uh weapon ability is there an invincibility when they when the does the job thing i wonder it looks like I was supposed to hit him, but I didn't. Ow. Use your skills, Koopo. Finish that bow, Koopo. Did you teach me to do that? Two down. Summon your serpent, Koopo. Oh, and these. That's an EX skill. Trample them underfoot. It slows them. Like, uh, there's. Besides your unique EX skill, there's like two that you can customize. Sloga's my bottom triangle one. Then there's a up triangle one. Which I have a vacuum that uh, sucks players towards the vacuum. Looks like Sloga already ran out on the Furion though. So I can blast him from afar and just blast him. Such a good move. It's definitely better from afar, but you just, you know, pace distance yourself. Your efforts were commendable. I'm almost home. Can you teach me to do that? Next up is against uh, two Tidus, three Tidus. Uh, wow. Focus, focus. I did not. Wow. I did not know that could happen. Uh, that's just weird. You're done. Oh. Oh. 
Whoa. Nice save, nice save, Santoko. Like, what was going on there? Next is the Nameless Wraith, Cloud of Darkness, Furion, and X-Death. Cool enemy team. To defy us is to face ruin. This stage, the tracking things are good because the hills get in the way. I can say. Stay close to your companions, Koopo. Finish that phone, Koopo. Whoa. Gobez is also really good I find against other mages <laughs> because his is just like you know they're pretty they're decently fast compared to some other ones his attack and they have good tracking like that Get another mage from afar. Don't quote me on this, but he might be a very good anti mage. This my atonement. Here's your doom. Two bronzes. Oh, they have Bahamut. He's pretty strong. The summon. When life gives you lemons, squeeze them dry. <laughs> Bart. Bart is cool. Oops. He's like a coffee type, if I remember well. With like. Get the uh, abilities of, or like weapons of his allies. Finish that bow, Kubo. Oh, 
I love this move. Oh, that was Cloud? Sorry, bro. Your efforts were commendable. Now they hit look at uh Ninja Onion Knight back there. With, with it with that swagger. Wow, nice. Kupapo! I got a lot more story. Kupapo! Got more treasure. Got more gill. New EX skill, nice. You mastered a new HP attack, Koopa. Okay, up oh, for Koopa Onion Knight. Variety is the spice of life. For Onion Knight. Koopa Don't Koopa worry, I got for this. For Onion Knight. <laughs> Koopa Koopa I require for Gold Day. I require more time. Koopa I am ready. Now he's ready. <laughs> uh, that was that was on point. Okay. Well, thank you all for watching. This has been Game Taff. My little run through of the gauntlet at the bronze level. I will attempt to upload and do all the other ranks in the near future. Thank you again for watching. <laughs>